Hello everyone, Ted J here from the Google Docs and Google Drive Help Forum. Today I'm going to show you all how to automatically sort data that comes in from a form into different tabs. And so there's a lot of reasons why you might want to do this. Um, but most importantly, if you want to perform some sort of um, you know, other functions on a subset of your data, you can't really do that just using like the normal filter tool. Um, because it just kind of filters and hides the rows and you can't really perform functions on that. So if you want to perform functions on a subset of your data or say share a subset of your data, you actually have to throw it into a different tab. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to do that. So in order to do that, you need a form. You need to have a spreadsheet that uh, your form is linked to. And then you'll create a, a, a little template tab that references your form responses that will only pull in the data you want to. Um, so just for reference, um, you know, we are using the new Google Sheets uh, for this. Um, and here's other a bunch of other functions that we're going to use. So the first function you need to know how to use is the if function, which is your basic conditional function. It has three parameters. The first parameter is your actual condition. Uh, second is you know what happens if that condition is true, and the third parameter is what happens if that condition is false. Um, and here is the help center documentation for that. So if you want to visit that, you can learn all about the if function. But we'll be using that, and I'll show you how to. We use that. Second function is the len function. The len function just basically, um, you know, returns the the length of the string that that you define. So, you know, say over here we're looking at, you know, say we did equals len a3. So we want to know the length of a3. Well, we get you know five because the word steps has five. So that's the len function. Then we have the query function, which actually does all the magic. Um, the query function has two parameters. The first parameter is you know, what data do you want to look at? And the second parameter is where you write a, um, a SQL-like statement um, that uses Google's own language called the Google Visualization uh, Language, which here's a help article and for how to do that. So it's the Google Visualization API Query Language. We call it GViz for short. Um, and then finally, we, we're going to actually use a feature called data validation, which only allows certain values to appear in a cell, and I'll show you how we're going to use that. Um, there's a Help Center article for that one as well, and we might do another video on how, um, how you can actually use that all over your spreadsheet, which is pretty cool. So um, I've made an example, example sheet and, and form, and you know when I was talking to my friend Adam, who makes all these videos, uh, also that I said, hey, I'm going to do this video. Um, and I have a problem. I don't have an awesome Australian accent. Can you help me? Because Adam's from Australia and he has an, automo an awesome Australian accent, so his videos are extra awesome. So he said, yeah, sure, Ted, you know, go ahead, um, you know, make a form and, and you know, I'll, I'll set up some time. So made a form and uh, here's what it looks like. So we have, you know, some basically two questions. Oh, come on, Chrome. Come on, Chrome. Got to get get it in a good place so it doesn't uh, okay there we go all right so two questions what's your name what class you want to sign up for so I've done a bunch of um, yeah I've done a bunch of fake entries so we're gonna do the Billiken the Billiken for those who don't know is the mascot of my alma mater St. Louis University and it looks like this guy you should google him and check him out but my Billikens are ranked number 10 right now and they're doing awesome but the Billikens probably going to want to take this class on a Tuesday because who doesn't love an Australian speaking, Australian accent speaking Billiken? So he's going to learn on Tuesday. So submit our form, go back to uh, our spreadsheet, and here we go. Okay, so here's all my data that uh, that's been coming in. These are all the people that want to take this class. So Adam said, okay, you know this is great. Thanks for for setting this up, but I need a roster for each day. So I was like, okay, well I can do that. So what I did was we built this tab over here, and so um, I'm going to pull in everything just for a certain day. So right now we have it set up for um, Tuesday. I'm going to change this back to Monday just so it matches everything. So what you're looking at here is all the data that from my form responses sheet that just um, for anybody that signed up for Monday. So how this works is we write this function in A3 because that's the top left of, of where we want our data to start flowing. Um, and then, so we use this function. So I just actually typed it over here so that if I click other places, you can still see what I'm talking about. Um, otherwise, if I click in A3, here's where the actual function is. So there's two parameters for query. The first one is what data do you actually want to look through? So we want to look at the form responses one tab, A2 through C. So just a reminder, A2 starts here through C. And the reason why we don't have a row number on C is because we want to capture all new responses that come in. So if we omit the row number, it'll just find the last, um, last row of data. 
um, dynamically. So if somebody submits a form response right now and it comes in, it'll go into row 20. Um, my formula would grab it and I wouldn't have to do anything. So that's great. So then the uh, so the second part is actually writing the statement. So select star. Star means um, everything in my table. So you know my table I have a or column A, column B, and column C. So A, B, and C. Timestamp name and class. So select all. Where C. So C is my my day number equals single quotes text Monday single quotes. So this just pulls in just the Monday stuff. So pretty simple, pretty easy, but really really cool. So you know I change this to Oops, Tuesday, and boom, there's all my Tuesday stuff. So this is great, but I think there's a better way to do it. So say we have you know a bunch of days, and we want to have rosters for a bunch of different days, and um, you have to make a tab for each day, and you know, it could take a while uh, to do this if you have a bunch of days. So what I say is let's just make a template. So we make this template, um, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to pick a cell, and we're going to type whatever we want you know, the data to come into by in that cell, and then the query function will look at that cell and then pull it in um, based on that cell value. So, you know, click on this, there's now a drop down. This is that data validation I was talking about before. So this cell will only accept nothing, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So I click on Tuesday, boom, there's my Tuesday. Click on Wednesday, boom, there's my Wednesday. Go back to Monday, cool. So this is very similar to the other one, but now we just have basically two conditions that could possibly happen to B1, which is what's driving this function here. So the first condition is, is there actually anything in B1? So if there's nothing in B1, that means the length of this cell is zero. So if len is zero, or len B1 equals zero, I want this text, please choose a value in B1. So I want some to see, oh hey, I, if, I, if I want to see something, I actually have to pick a value. So please choose value in B1. So here's B1, we click on Tuesday. Okay, this is good. So now the other, the uh, other condition, which is if it's not zero, it means there's something in it. Um, so in this case, Tuesday. Then we actually want to run the query. So the query is all the same before, except for now the where statement is actually going to reference a cell here instead of actually having the, the day hard-coded in. So to do this, and I think the best way to do this is to do three double quotes, an ampersand, the cell you want to look at, another ampersand, three more double quotes, and then the last double quotes, which close the statement up here. And this will pull in... Um, any type of data. So it could be a column that has mixed data types, which means it could have numbers, it could have just numbers, just letters, or it could have numbers and letters in it. So this will capture everything. So I recommend using it. Um, and so that's that. So why this is so great is because now, say I wanted to make you know a tab for just Monday, I can duplicate this tab. Here's my duplicate, we'll call it Monday. And then boom, I just change this to Monday, and then I move on, and I can do another one. So here's all the people that are coming on Monday. And so I've done this for Tuesday and Wednesday, and there you go. Uh, so why this is also really cool is you could basically just really have one tab if you wanted, and you just have this quick little dashboard. Um, and so I can just come up here and I say, oh, who's, who's Monday? Well, here's all the people for Monday. So you can think there's lots of, lots of different... Um, you know different things you can do with this but this is you know the basics of how it all works and um, if you ever have any questions about how this type of thing works just go ahead out to the Google Docs help forum and somebody else will help you or it might be me help you um, you know implement what you're trying to do using this method also if you have any questions about this particularly um, you can post in the Google Plus uh, comments for this video or in the YouTube comments and I'll definitely see them and hopefully get you an answer um, this spreadsheet will also be linked in the description and um, you'll be able to get to all of these links and play around with this spreadsheet. Now remember, if you want to play around with this spreadsheet, it's going to be set as view only so nobody can come in here and mess with everything, but you can make your own copy. So just come up to file, make a copy, name it whatever you want, and then you'll have your own copy which you can edit and play around with. Um, it'll also make you a form. So that is that. I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, have a good one.